Happy to have Amin El Hassan here. You can catch him oddball with Charlotte Wilder every day except Monday, wherever it is you get your podcasts and also DraftKings Network. His timing is impeccable. His camera presence is magical. He's Amin El Hassan. He's been great around here for a long time. I want to get an opinion from him on the following. I want to know which is the greatest Raptor rant against the referees over the last couple of years. Ooh. Is it from last night, the amazing coach Darko? Listen to him here, Stugatz, because he <laughs> loses his mind. Thank you, Doug. That's, that's, that's outrageous. What happened tonight, this is completely BS. This is shame. Shame for the referees, shame for the league to allow this. 23 free throws for them, and we get two free throws in, in the fourth quarter. Like, how to play the game. I, all, I understand uh, respect for all stars and all that, but we have star players on our team as well. How's possible is Scotty Barnes, who is all-star caliber player in this league, he goes every single time to the rim with force and trying to get, get uh, to, to the rim without flopping and, and not trying to get foul calls. He gets two uh, free throws for the whole game. How is that possible? How are you going to explain that, that, that to me? They had to win tonight? If that's, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. Just give them a win. But that, that was not fair tonight. And this is not happening first time for us. Scotty Barnes is going to be all-star. He's going to be the face of this league. And what, what's happening over here ah. during whole season, I've been holding it back. <laughs> it's a complete crap. Coach, do you feel like you're getting any explanations at all that offensive foul did you did you see like get any explanation? no no there is no explanation they just they just come up there they review what and they see what they want to see they don't want to hear us what we got to say they don't want to hear the players they they, they, they don't just want to protect us over the game they got 36 free throws 23 free throws in, in the fourth quarter what are we talking about what are we talking about how are we gonna supposed to play this uh, a one-off, or do you feel this has been happening to your team a lot throughout the season? It's happening a lot, but I'm telling our guys, be professional, keep fighting, keep going for the next one. <laughs> but until when? For how long? Thank you, Doug. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the players have definitely got to pass that collection plate around for that big-ass fine he's going to get. Did he forget Scotty Barnes' last name the first time around? He did seem to look yeah. down at his list. Scotty, Scotty uh, uh, Barnes, Barnes is going to be the face of this league. <laughs> I mean, the face of the league, coach. Someone needs to follow up. Who there. is that? I feel like I, I'm just happy that he he said thank you, Doug. Like I like that. Like thank you, Doug. Yes, it, it was very cordial at the beginning, and I'd like video to just freeze an assortment of his rage faces there oh, because yeah. uh, you guys, Ooh. he he was filled with poison, and that's not even the best one. You guys, I'm going to give you till the end of the segment, but I'd like them to spring up behind me on the big board here <laughs> because he's got an enormous number of rage faces in the middle Have of that. Have fun with that video. Um, but what I'd like uh, before that is I'd like to compare that to last year when Van Vliet went off on the referees in a different way. It wasn't like this. It was with more cursing. And I think uh, it was with less rage, but it was pretty shocking. Let's listen to that. I mean, I don't mind. I'll take a fine. I don't really care. I thought, you know, um, Ben Taylor was f terrible tonight. Um, I thought that on most nights, you know, couple other you know out of the three there's one or two that just <laughs> the game up you know and it's, it's it's been like that a couple couple games in a row um denver was tough obviously you come out tonight you're competing pretty hard the third quarter i get a bull tech changes the whole dynamic of the game changes the whole flow of the game and um you know most of the refs are trying hard i like a lot of the refs are trying hard they're pretty fair they communicate well and then you got the other ones who just want to be dicks and um just kind of <laughs> the game up nobody's coming to see that they come to see the players, and um, I think we're losing a little bit of the fabric of what the NBA is and was, and um, it's been disappointing this season. Um, you can look up most of my texts this year have been with Ben Taylor officiating, so at a certain point as a player, you feel it's personal. Your thoughts, I mean? Look, Fred was concise. He was uh, calm. It was surgical the way his was delivered, and expletive 
filled. <laughs> it was cool. He did it right. with his elbows folded. He did it super right. cool, but there's something about – see, what you guys don't understand about the Darko rant, that's what I call Euro coach energy. You guys see, you guys are used to coaches talking in euphemisms, talking about like, we didn't get a fair whistle tonight, and kind of like these – no, no, no. That's not how they do it in Europe. In Europe, they go nuts like Darko did. And it was like, it, it brought me back to another time. I was like, oh, when I was watching a lot of European basketball when I was scouting and stuff, and I'm like, oh, the crazy post-game rant from Coach Darko. He hit every note. And like Chris said, the most important part was, as he's about to call Scotty Barnes, the face, a future face <laughs> of the league, not of this franchise, of the league, he had to look down and remember his name. He's like, Scotty, uh... Barnes, face of the league. <laughs> Would have been better if he had a cigarette in his hand, right? No doubt. Like the entire time, just like pointing people with the cigarette in his hand? No, no, doing no. That, like taking it, a rip? Doing that, getting your point across without, you know, without your heartbeat going up, you know, being very, very calm, getting your point across in a very good way with your arms folded, that's assassin-like. No, no, no. no like, no. to me, that's, that's the better rant, no. I mean. Ben Taylor, by the way, was the referee in both those games. Yes, he was. <laughs> He's the common thread. Maybe he just hates Canada. Maybe we should get Ben Taylor on the line. No, this is what you do. You got the cigarette at first to start just hanging from the lip. And as he talks, it's just kind of like, I don't believe that. Da, da, da. And then you wait for the next question. Why are you taking the next question? You take a huge drag right. and interrupt the drag in the middle of the question because the question was so... Is this, is, this a, is this something normal? <laughs> it happens every time. Smoke coming out of your yeah, mouth. <laughs> just coming out of all orifices as you stamp it out. Put it on the poll, please, Juju. Are we still making Freds? <laughs> oh, no, that's not the name that we're, we're, we've stopped making. I'll tell you what the, the name is. I figured this out with Charlotte Wilder earlier. Scotty. There are no Scotties. There used to be Scotties everywhere. What's the last Scotty you heard of? Scotty Miller. Scotty Barnes. Who's Scotty? Scotty Barnes. Who's Scotty Miller? Wide receiver? Great. No, he's <laughs> great. Scott Miller. <laughs> you mentioned he's Fred Scott. the other day he's when the Dolphins. Scotty Miller. His name's Scott. The, the you know Dolphins Scotty. have a running back named hey. Jeff Wilson, and I was just like, Jeff. our running back's name is Jeff. You don't like that? And it was just like, this is not, I, I feel like you need a better name if you're yeah. a running back. What? Just, this is Jeff over here. Tony, Farkas. Tony, do you regret saying calling great uh, Scotty Miller the same way that he had a I, season? The same way that I regret calling the Brooklyn Nets above average. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, see, mine mine is subjective. Yours was objective. You're like they are above average and they are very below average. They're just average. Scott. <laughs> I mean, if Tom Brady loves Scotty Miller, I love Scotty Miller. He's a Super the, Bowl champion. I'm looking at NFL.com. I'm looking at Pro Football Reference. This man's name is Scott Miller. It he is, changed right. it, though. He changed no, it because no, no, he used no. to be Scotty Miller. Well, you know why? Because he's trying to catch the wave. Mm. Sorry. Do, do you want to change? He's Scott Miller without Tom Brady. Scotty Miller with Tom Brady. That's do it. you want to change or downgrade your assessment of great on Scotty, Scotty Miller? Scotty Barnes' name is Scott also. No, it's not. It's Scotty. It's not. It's Scotty. Okay. That's Look nice. it up. I, I would did. like to downgrade. I did. Yeah, it's it's, a, Scott Wayne. Bar- it's, it's a Scott Wayne Hold Barnes on. Jr. When you pull up NBA.com, it says Scott Wayne Barnes Jr. Huh? It says Scotty Barnes. The okay. official website says Scotty Barnes when he's introduced in those starting lineups. At one forward from Florida State University, Scotty Barnes. This man's name is Scott Barnes or Scott Miller mm-hmm. on NFL.com. Not not like full name Scott Montgomery Barnes. Not, I'm not saying that. He recently changed the it though. I mean, thing. he used to be last year. He was Scotty Barnes when he played with Tom Brady. He was Scotty Barnes, 100. percent And that was with a Y. That was back then. We're not making Scotties anymore. That's my whole point. Come on, guys. Billy, why are you shaking your head? I'm just trying to get through the day, man. <laughs> All right, that's the spirit and attitude we want around here. That's the Metal Arc way. I I'm, look up someone's name, and you're telling me it's wrong when I'm no, looking No, you're at looking it. up like his like government name. I'm talking about on the website, NFL.com, Scott Miller Stats, News, and Video. Not I Scotty Mars. I don't Mars. understand this argument. You don't? His government name. No, you said, what's his name? I said, it's Scott. You said, no, no it's not. His and name then is you Scott. said you looked up his government name, which would be his name. His name is Scotty Barnes. This guy's name is Scott Miller. It's not that hard. Semantics. It's not semantics. It's a very big difference. You See, happen to be right. I hate I to do this to Billy, but you yeah. happen to be right. Yeah.
Maybe I should Scott co-host. Scott Wayne Barnes Jr. No, no. It's a tough what day for doing? Billy taking Wikipedia? Out. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, next thing you're going to tell me, you believe like the aliens were across the street. Oh, I, Wikipedia said it was, so maybe it's true. Oh, I, I'm Billy Gill. You've done I, like six different voices. I know. This is a, I've got a lot <laughs> First of First you were representing the internet. You're like, oh, my name is Scooney Mutt. He hasn't been here in weeks, and he's got a number of gripes uh, with the show. <laughs> the first one is he says that we dropped the ball with Reese Davis. Hmm. Uh, that's fair. A hundred percent. A hundred A thousand percent. How many mm. people are in this room? How many people? Yeah, how we many blew people? it. We blew it. How mm-hmm. How do you not start? You guys started with a dog? Or what was it? What did you guys start with? I don't remember. Football? Obsessed with dogs. His oh, hair. I don't no, get his it. hair. Well, well, we did. We yeah. called him a prince. For like I wasn't there. Time. Yeah. I, wasn't I, I knew you weren't there. I knew you weren't there. I knew Juju wasn't there either. Because there's no way. There's no absolutely no way in hell you could start an interview. That was the biggest interview of the year. You guys caught Reese Davis. The first interview with Reese Davis since he used the word naysayer that swept the nation. Everyone lost their minds. And you guys were like, oh, so who do you like in the national country game? Oh, oh, oh football. Oh, why not? Oh, oh, do you think Alabama's gotten like, what are you talking about? Does it make it better or worse that we had the video ready? It was like in our prep, but we just didn't get to it. How do you not get to it? Mm-hmm. Hey, hey. You want let, it now? Let's interview Draymond Green and ask him nothing about choking anyone out or getting people or getting suspended or wanting to retire. Let's ask him. So, Draymond, what do you think about the one two two press they ran against you guys last night? Because we're, we're a sports show. We asked Another questions. voice. <laughs> He's done 40 of them. He's very fired up, He has done 40 of them. He hasn't been at one of these microphones in like three weeks. I've never been more ashamed of the show. You should be. I've never been more ashamed of the show. We deserve this. They're like, you guys interviewed Reese Davis? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. It's like, no, no, they interviewed Reese Davis. I was like, no, it probably happened before that. No, 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 it was on this day. The day, like, and they didn't ask? I could not believe it. I went back and I listened to the segment. I'm like, holy They're really just going to go through 12 and a half minutes. But Reese Davis, nothing. Not a, not even, not even a, a little. Hey, hey McAfee is a kind of silly guy, huh? Nope. You guys just ask silly ass question. We've asked him about McAfee question. before. Yes, though. about the dog though. The dog. Blank was right there waiting for you. This it's, is. It's been here. I brought it to you guys. Told you this video. Let's do it. This nothing. is what happens, Tony, when you bring dogs in here. That's true. Now everyone's just 100%. thinking about dogs all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, where's the dog? Where's Willow? Oh, the dog. You have a dog. He has a dog. I have a dog too. Oh, we have dogs. Don't you like when my dog does? This dog, 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 dog. That's all you guys do. That's all you think about. You're never thinking about the big picture. Big picture. The biggest viral video was this man saying naysayer, not realizing that it was a euphemism for the word. Damn it! I had five more seconds. You timed it wrong. Oh, you timed it wrong. It. You came in too hard. I'm rusty. You will get your football fix headed into the playoffs here with Diana Rossini. And uh, I believe Jamar Chase and T. Higgins are joining us together in a little bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, So we will get to that as well. But before we do that, because we have Amin El-Hassan here and there is a lot of interesting basketball to get to. I pronounced your name (laughs) wrong there, right? (laughs) Hassan Pfeffer. It's a fine, man. Uh, It it sounded (laughs) – you know what? It would have been – Correctly pronounced if you were from London. Amino Hawson is here. Well, I'll tell you what just happened here. I'm going to be totally honest with everybody involved. I'm uncomfortable with what Amin tried to do at the end of the last segment. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to do that, you have to get the timing right. I got mm-hmm. you. I got you. You, 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 you got to stick the landing. Yeah, you, you, you have yeah. to there. If you're going to play on that dangerous line, uh, you can't bail and pull the parachute four seconds early. Uh, or if you pull the parachute four seconds late, you know what happens to everybody involved in the pulling of a parachute four seconds late. You were you were just playing with fire there in a way that was unpleasant. It's funny because in this case, it, it would actually be the opposite. If I pulled the parachute early, disaster strikes. If I pull it late, it would have been just... Well, instead, though, what you did is you stared at me. We're falling down the sky, and the parachute needs to be pulled at exactly the right time. And what you looked at, you looked at me, and you're like, I'm four seconds early. <laughs> <laughs> the worst possible ending. It, it's not. It's <laughs> not. It, it's. It, it was that your timing was off. I'd rather splat. Your your rage. Your rage was. Uh, your your energy level was through the roof. You yeah. rarely come in here that hot uh-huh. and unleashed as many na- as many impersonations in five minutes as you did there. I've, I, I'm I'm experiencing energy spikes all through 2024. So far, this is what day 10. Energy spikes through the roof. Is it the dry January? It's the dry January, I think. Oh, wow. I think this is what happens. Like, I've needed copious amounts of alcohol to keep my personality even keeled and, like, and just, you know, consistent. And now without that shackle holding me back a little bit, 
I am bursting out is the it, seams. Is it, is it dry with alcohol yeah. or alcohol and caffeine? Which one are you and Roy doing? What's caffeine? Coffee, tea. No, I, don't, thing. I don't drink any of those Thank you, Robin. Mm. Yeah, it's just alcohol for me. Like, I drink tea. Uh, but there's definitely no caffeine uh, energy spike over here. I'm just you look eating. drowsy. Still tired. We've you, noticed, Roy. You look drowsy. You always look a little bit drowsy. Recently, you've gotten the caffeine spike of the Panthers have won eight in a row, and so you seem to have a little more energy. But right now, mm-hmm. you look sleepy. Uh, somewhere between sleepy and despondent. Well, that that happens when you have children, Dan. Ah, right. At yeah, a late that, game yeah. last night at St. Louis, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, and it's not really a late game. I mean, the game started at eight o'clock. That's and, late for me. It's late for you. <laughs> <laughs> Seven thirty. Anything past the seven thirty yes. start? <laughs> yeah. Seems like uh, Matthew Kachuk's back. Everybody. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once the uh, calendar flipped, so did he. In period hat trick, huh? Yeah. The natural hat trick. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I love whenever someone says someone's back, you have to say it like Magic Johnson. You say, "Guys, Matthew Kachuk is officially back." There was like a six-year span where Maddie Johnson every year declared that the dunk contest was back. Every time anyone would do it. And it never was. <laughs> and it never was. But it's like, guys, the dunk contest is officially back. It went away, but now it's officially back. And Ja Morant has run through the same. Oh. Uh, he was back, and it was exciting that he was back, yeah. and now he is gone for the, gone for the season. Mm. Uh, the Grizzlies looked – I mean, that was – Startling, right? A couple of years ago when Ja was out for a while, they went something like 22-4 and four mm-hmm. or something and looked just as good. And Memphis started the season worse than anybody, like no. uh, except Detroit. <laughs> the well, except yes. a, except With the Detroit. highest paid coach but, in the NBA. Yeah, but Detroit I mean, didn't have anymore. any expectations. For Memphis, uh, Memphis has expectations and their season has been ruined and the atmosphere around their games is awful because that's a really great basketball town. That – that that town doesn't have a lot else when it comes to sports identity. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because I imagined you saying that like John Taffer. John Taffer would call Memphis a really great basketball town. These people love their hoops. So what do we want? We want to have a concept that brings them in. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. That's only when he's angry. Tony's doing the thing where he's he, – he kind of looks around something invisible in front of him. That's only when he's angry and he's yelling at you. But when he's trying to tell you about a really great basketball town, Memphis, they love their Got to call it Hoops Town, though. Yeah. Like a really good Hoops Town. So we're going to get a bar concept here that brings people in. Why are you doing that? Because you said it's a good because you said Memphis is a great basketball town. <laughs> Dry month, Dan. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. The energy is through the roof. Can you feel it? Is, it? is there osmosis? Does everybody else feel it? Billy, I know you feel it. Look at it. I'm feeling I'm radiant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's my guy in the back row. I'd like to feel slightly less of it. Less energy? <laughs> slightly less. Less energy. Slightly less. Oh, man. Show me your range here. Let's go. Yeah. Bring it down okay. a little Oh, bit. I'll do the Fred Van Vliet. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so. You want a cigarette? Uh, oh, that would be great. <laughs> Can we all be allowed to smoke in here? No? Okay. Yes. No. Sure. So give him give him a cigarette. I tried. I mean, give him a cigarette. I have to go out to the car. Okay. okay. Well. You don't have a cigarette on well, you? Don't you don't have a car. That cannot be true. true. That's an I have to go to the car. Go ahead. I believe you. you. Probably I'm going to go ahead and no, let's either. not smoke yeah, a cigarette. You know, he's, he's got to go. back at five. I'm going to have one. He's going to go have one. Exactly. So Sunday night, the Memphis. He's never been so happy to leave mid-segment. Bye. Uh, Billy muttered under his breath with genuine remorse. Bad at, he's red. Billy never gets embarrassed. He is he's red with shame at like why how do I not know better at this point in my career that yeah. if I mention a bad idea, Dan's going to seize it, he's gonna grab it, and it's gonna become a thing we do. Well, I'm also I, looking around to see the sprinkler situation. Cause like there's ju- not just the smoking shouldn't be going on in that room and then everything will stink and you're not gonna get that smell out of there. But, like, there's also equipment in there that will get wet if there's a flame or whatever and it goes off for some we reason. Did we did the cigarette? fog machine the other day, Hold and on. it was fine. I've been working okay. on my judgment. This is not a good idea. Wait a second. <laughs> Are we trying to say that if you smoke a cigarette, the smoke alarm and detectors will go off and the sprinklers will go That's off? That's generally how it works, no? no? So yeah. if you smoke a cigarette? I have never tested it. I assume no, any I, smoke. No, I don't think it'll go off, but if it does, then... 
Could you I'm imagine? on record. I think this is not a good idea. Okay, yeah. everyone is on record as saying that this is a bad idea, but Stugatz has gone to his car to like get uh, cigarettes, and we're going to try this. And what we're going to Carl, try... You didn't, you didn't even get me one? What we're going Carl, to he's going to smoke a cigarette. No, I got you one. What okay. we're going to try to do is... I don't is, think he's here today. Uh, Amin is going to try and give, in his most relaxed form, an, he's going to create a new character, which is basketball take guy, who gives takes while relaxed and smoking a cigarette indoors, giving off relaxed rule breaker. Can we smoke weed in here? Asking for a friend. Depends. Uh, Rolled up or vape? What friend? What's the difference? <laughs> Big difference. It's huge, huge difference. Huge difference, huge actually. Difference. Huge difference. I've huge told. difference. Uh, let's get him a lighter as well, because I mean, does not we're good. have the bits one working. of those. Yeah, no, the bits, oh, okay, come on. Like, really, we don't oh, have gonna, oh, the, to the equipment, do this. The equipment. We're already there. It's a bad idea, we're already man. there. It yeah. would be funny if as soon as you light it, the spring would go. <laughs> 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 video, take, video, take care of that. Well, hopefully, as soon as, the, as soon as the water comes down, I'll get all of the photos of a rage-filled Coach Darko behind me so that it's just a – so that I get everything I want at the same time. Uh, let's do this. I What's mean, the payoff here? Uh, just smoky. Well, the payoff is not not doing it. So now we're in too deep. I never know. We're, what... we're not though. I mean, you you're allowed to abort, Dan. I mean, no, yeah. I, it's, can it's, we just take a I video team out no. there with him? Listen, if Billy offers a bad idea and it results in us all getting soaked, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a winner. But I I do think though that the smoke machine, a dry ice machine that we had in here to announce the all the smoke partnership produces slightly more smoke than what Amin smoking a cigarette will produce. I also think they turned off the smoke detectors for that day. Wasn't there a fire in this building on Friday? Was the, there? The alarm's always going off. Yeah, but everything's dry, so it seems like the sprinklers didn't go off. There or it go. didn't work, so if there was an actual <laughs> fire... Do you think all the sprinklers work? You know what I was wondering about those sprinklers? Is it like the... You know in every chemistry, chemistry class you have that shower in the corner that everyone's like... Oh, what happens if you pull it? And then there's yeah. always like the one class clown that pulls it and you realize like, oh my God, I didn't realize water can come out that fast yeah. in that volume. <laughs> I wonder if that's what these sprinklers are like. Because I feel like these are just like a... And then that's it. And it wouldn't put out a fire. We are going to try this and oh see if Amin has gotten any better at timing than he was in the last segment. Because <laughs> we're going to give the floor to Amin. I'm, I'm being real here. I just got someone in my ear, yeah. a high up, saying, please don't do that. Mm. Don't do what? Mm. Who was the high up? What, what is wow. it? Don't do what? Now we're going to start listening to the high ups. But no one's higher than Dan. I, mean. I say don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I say don't do I it. I vote no. I'm voting no. Oh was boy. it GQ? If oh it was boy. GQ, we should listen. Yeah. Mm. Prevent water from getting <laughs> on this I just here. saw Mal Skipper. Skipper? Uh, well, I do believe it is reckless to do that. And uh... <laughs> All right. Again, I'm going to have to feud with Skipper. We haven't had one of these since uh, the pepper. <laughs> yeah. Can someone, oh, bet the no. Can someone bet the cigarette for me? Yeah, I'll vet it. Bring it in here. Give it to me. I'll vet <laughs> They're it. They're good. I vetted them. All right. <laughs> all right. The first thing I need from video is I need all the rage faces of Coach Darko somewhere behind me, please. I, uh, thank you. That's good. That's excellent work oh, wow. by you guys. Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, these he looks are, like Tom Sizemore. Uh, an assortment. He does. <laughs> an assortment of rage. Tom Sizemore. Uh, <laughs> the late Tom Sizemore. Uh, R.I.P. Smoke one for him. Uh, you're going to smoke one for him now. Oh, no, no. All right. Oh, no. The, the I mean, this is the hottest of take. It's got actual fire in it. We've got 90 seconds here. Need oh, backup. Oh, boy. Of Amin El Hassan. And there's going to be extra smoke when me and Skipper have to go at it because I've broken the rules here on smoking and indoors. And when I smoke weed, I mean. You have 90 <laughs> seconds, Amin, to tell us everything you think about John Moran. And none of the recycled stuff from Oddball. I've heard that and it's good. But if people want the exclusive stuff, it's at Oddball. What are you laughing about, Tony? I just told Stu in his headphones, like, imagine this is setting the precedent that we can go to the Supreme Court with that Stu got can come back to the old days of smoking oh. – on indoors. air, oh. indoors. indoors. This is it. setting the precedent right now. So if Stu got, if 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 he lights that cigarette, I mean, does what? Stu gonna... has all the precedent to okay. go out and smoke every single day in the studio. <laughs> this it's is like John. Do it. Right. What are you gonna do with Six the ash? Inside. What's what's gonna we happen? We should get with the, the ash right from outside. Folks, by the way, it's forty-five <laughs> seconds. I love left. a good payoff. What is the payoff? Let's get it. A right cigarette being lit. Let's see. Morton Downey Jr. What man are we even sticking it to here? Can I ask that? Like, there's no man that's stopping us. Let's go. Let's. Let's what go. is this? 40 <laughs> seconds are left. Let's see what happens. There may indeed not be a payoff. 
so so here's the deal. So I, I, I went to Suns Grizzlies on, on Sunday, and that this was when he was questionable to play. And then I was walking out to the court, and they stopped us because there were players coming out. And I said, what players are coming out? The game's about to start. And it was Ja, and he had his arm in a sling. And I said, oh, that doesn't look good. So... Well, just like that segment's over, so, uh, it's time for Diana Rossini. On, we, we got, got 10 seconds left. Hold on. Yeah. So, so, we got 10 seconds This left. is my hot take. Don't do it. Lighter doesn't work. Damn, you can't predict that. No. Oh, no. Oh, a... And you have Good an for Memphis. You <laughs> held it like weed. Good for Memphis is the take. <laughs>